Well, I mean, people on the internet point and laugh at Johnny as he thought we were recording before we actually were. I thought you hit the button. I didn't. My bad. I didn't. <laughs> anyway, it's my line anyway, so fuck you. Whose line is it anyway? It's mine. Are you sure about that? Yes. But, but, but the points don't matter anyway. This is true. <laughs> Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the blood stain handprint. The murder touched locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing the gloves? See? I had nothing to do with it. Ooh. The witness's explanation appears valid. What the fuck? No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, they just happened to touch the same place I touched. Although, there's room for doubt. Life won't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. That's because you... How do you put it? Pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That, and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. That locker I used when- That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. And that's all there- And that's there- That's in- All that's in there now is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my parents worked all over that locker. Apparently, his fingerprints, his fingerprint data was never removed from that locker's programming. He must have been using fingerprint lock all this time without ever knowing it. Oh yeah, that's right, because he doesn't know the things opened by fingerprint. Mm -hmm. So then, what about the bloody handprint? Well, as a mom, it's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered with my fingerprints. It just so happened. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward for a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? Unrelated? They're as different as night and day. Kinda like cereal and cereal. One's gotta do with breakfast while the other's a type of murder. He's right. Although seemingly alike, they're totally different. I don't see what homonyms have to do with this. They're homonyms. Therefore, they're alike because they sound alike. It's homonyms, not homicide. This is a murder case. The, this murder case would be homicide. That's what we're here discussing. Yeah, it's homicide, not homonyms. But I, I, I got my thing backwards. I'm sorry. Yes, it is homicide, not homonyms. What are you? What are you on about? Homophobe? What? <laughs> I don't know. I was... First of all, <laughs> that's rude. Second of all, Phoenix, if you don't get your fucking act together, I'm going to issue you a penalty, alright? Why can't I just wear my rainbow badge in court, okay? That's all I'm asking. I don't care. Who said you can't? Oh. Alright. Oh, okay. Just like pins it right, like, right next to his, like, lawyer badge. Are you? I, I'm not. I'm just supportive. I'm an ally. <laughs> uh, anyway, how do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up with the reports. There was a bus in the scene left, thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found in Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think they're tied. I think we tried that too. Hmm. So that would mean the murderer, wearing gloves, happened to place their hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint. Well, that's the only logical conclusion. Are uh, you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? This seal of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzers. There's only one reality, and that's this. A security tape? 
So long as my trial isn't in there, you can't. Sorry, sorry. So long as my trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross examination. Y yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Too bad it wasn't me and that video partner. What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime, isn't that right, partner? If so, yeah, that video is the only direct evidence you have. I just noticed he's left handed. I don't know why, I just noticed, but yeah. I mean, we don't technically like think about it, I guess. Mm. But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? Places you can't see. Well, I mean... The camera's panning back and forth, and the floor isn't, sh the floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, they could leave the room without being caught on tape. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence in this video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, please do so now. I can show that evidence. I think I already actually found it. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. Now, let's have another look at the video. Show us this incriminating evidence of the witness, Officer Jake Marshall. He dug his own grave by telling me that he, that was his locker, because you remember... Oh, the scrap of whatever hanging out? Yeah. Also, I see now it does look kind of like him. Also, it would make sense that he brandishes a knife immediately if he's attacked. Mm-hmm. It definitely looks like Mika's just fucking dying right there. Like, it looks like he definitely just... Look, it looks like, like he slumped over dead. Yeah, it looks yeah. like he definitely just fucking stabbed him, like, through the shoulders. <laughs> killed him right then and there and threw him against the wall. Right. And... Bam. If you didn't tell me that was your locker, then we wouldn't have known. Well, I mean, I had... I think we had speculations already that it was his locker. Did we? I thought so. Was it just because his fingerprint was on it? Maybe, but also the fact that he was able to open it. Well, yeah, but we well we didn't we, we, we didn't, didn't know that we was weren't him. entirely certain as to who it was in the costume. You're yeah. Right. Bring your attention back to the security camera is a mistake. I'm afraid you'll not soon forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video. Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in this video. That locker with the white cloth. Wait, 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 that's the judge. I'm oh, sorry. That locker with the white cloth sticking out. That was the witnesses, I believe. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. My question is, what, does he actually just crawl on the floor past the camera real quick? Wait, well, it's... I guess so, yeah. Because uh, he, he knew where the camera was. I guess. He's the one in charge of looking up. I mean, yeah. Oh, the white cloth. It's gone. What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the crime took place, the, wit the white cloth wasn't there. Then, it suddenly appeared. The only explanation? Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Order, order! It would seem that's the only- Hold your horses! Sorry, partner, but you got the wrong man. So what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. Ah, uh, he doesn't know. <laughs> the murderer needed to hide something, so he opened a locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he opened to shoot- he happened to shoot with mine. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? Because you are. <laughs> this guy isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. Uh, I hate to rain on your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I call your bluff. You say I open that locker. Now prove it. Fingerprint locks. <coughs> uh, fingerprint sensor? We talked about this earlier today. 
The lockers can only be opened by the detectives they belong to. What, what, what kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. Yeah, in any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. So, Sheriff, what do you have to say in eight words or less? I only got one. Some trivia? I guess. I only got one word for you, partner. No! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Jeez. I know I had. I well, just it's won. not the fact that it was you. It's just that the, the, the rubbing against the desk scared the oh. shit out of me. Uh, I apologize. Order! 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 Witness, explain yourself. If this is a joke, it's the worst joke I've ever heard. I assure you, this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you're doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Olay, please answer the question. What is he now, an, a bullfighter? That's alright, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure the rest out from here. We can? Have a look at these floor plans. There is no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so, then where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well then, let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of... Really? Officer Marshall? He's the... Officer Marshall was standing right here. There? But that's... Where the victim, Detective Goodman, was. Correct. Unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe victim in the video is Officer Marshall. Also, I feel like I really shouldn't have to point this out. It should be obvious at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it was you, dressed up like Detective Goodman. But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when he confront when confronted. When I entered the evidence room, I saw him show his card, sir. Or I asked him to show his card, sir. Yes, and how did Detective Goodman respond? He suddenly pulled a knife on me! Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't... Had. If the man had had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. As you can see, Detective Goodman's picture is on the ID card. Oh, I get it. If he showed that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? You've got quite an imagination, partner. We got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. We're gonna have to do better than that to break up Detective. Unless you have a hard evidence proven I dressed up as a victim. Hmm. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as the victim? Well, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. I can see fear in your eyes, partner. Seems like you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. Ah, uh, this can't be happening. It's so obvious he's the one. What can I do? Hmm. It looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. The basics? For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Phoenix, try thinking outside of the box. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came out because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was opened in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. 
yet he did. Despite the chance it might be discovered later, it as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument... Uh, I know what this is. Officer Jake Marshall, dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime... Can you close the door? I'm sorry. Wait, wait, so, you said you know what this is? Yeah, I just realized what it was. So, the reason he had to open his locker... Mm -hmm. Uh, remember... To get the muffler to hide the knife or something? No, 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 no. Uh, that's not even part of this. Mm. But, uh, remember when he was attacked and got blood all over his jacket? Yeah. Well, uh, he can't just walk out all bloody, could he? So he stuffed, so he stuffed the white coat in his locker, and that's what was poking out. Oh, was Goodman's jacket? Yeah. Or part of it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's probably what we have to present. Then, after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So, just what exactly is this piece of cloth? Perhaps, perhaps the video is the key to our, all our unanswered questions. If I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. Jacket? Yeah. Or is it the hat, maybe? No, it's the blood stain. Ah, so the things that we clicked on earlier, this is where they come up now. Yeah. Okay. Very well, let's take yet another look at the security tape. After coming to the crime, the witness opened the locker to put away the white cloth. Please show us why the witness had to open his locker. Why are you doing? What? What? Why do you want pets? Because she wants pets. Why do you want pets? Because she's a kitty. She why? wants pets. Why do you want pets? Pets. Punch. Smack. Go. Oh, no. Grab. Throw. Blood. It definitely looks like he's just about to fucking just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, he disguised himself as Detective Goodman and entered the evidence room. Though I didn't know what to, to what end. Yet. Yet. However, something unexpected happened. Officer, Meek Meek Officer Meekin sparred in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. However, Officer Meekin's panicked. And the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat. You couldn't just walk out in that. So you hid your coat in the locker. Not bad, partner. Is he wearing heels? <laughs> no, they're, they're leather boots. Yeah, but it looks like like there's like... Well, I mean, leather boots... Boots of all sorts naturally have a slight heel to them. It's to allow them easier time climbing and getting around and stuff. Interesting. Makes them hardier and all that. I guess. It, it just kind of made me realize, like, high heels and boots are kind of almost one and the same. No, no. <laughs> Trust me, high heels are much, much... Worse. Harder on your feet to wear. And also, they're pinchy. Ah. Especially near the toe area. I don't know why, but like, like right up in here, they're really pinchy on like the top of your foot. It sucks. Okay. Well... I've never worn high heels. Have you worn high heels? Theater. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, leading ladies. Okay. Anyway, now then, Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, if you were only half as persistent then as you are today, we all wouldn't have to be here now, now would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did. All of it. Alright. It seems the time has come. I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID, and I dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. And I managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. Bless you. Bless you, kitty. Bless you. So the supposed victim was really you. But there's one thing I still don't understand. Traces of a large quantity of blood were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then 
How could that be? Well, Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is that he's the donor. It was way too much blood for such a small donation. <laughs> when you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? The SL9 incident. Two years have passed since the case was closed. It was going to completely end with the transfer all that day. Not if I had anything to do with it. That innocent is not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only that case's lead detective can look through the evidence. I wanted to have a look at that myself one more time, no matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. But Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... Why did you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Detective Goodman was carrying out the evidence transferal, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you did it to pull the security camera. And the detective's ID card? I stole that I stole that the morning of the incident. So that was really why Goodman started filling out that lost item report. I returned his ID card. I left it on the floor of the prosecutor's office, office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean, partner? I mean, the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have been able to open that lock yourself. But he could have used a rubber glove. Oh, but he could because a rubber glove just happened to get stuck in the door. That means... Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. Oh, I'm like, oh, not that. You pulled a knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off? Let's just say I was a little surprised. I only planned on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Officer Meekins certainly is a one in a million type of person. Mistaking a detective for an intruder, demanding to be shown his ID. I'll have to think a little more about his raise this year. When did Edgeworth get so much influence? Anyway, he threw himself at me and I ended up cutting, cutting him slightly. I'm sorry it had to turn out that way, with me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what, ha what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? I don't know what to say. Hmm, so you knocked Officer Meekins out, and... He's... This is just the knife that he uses. I mean, I, I, guess, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, you did your research beforehand. Those who got into the desert are prepared don't live long, partner. I don't think it would make a difference, though. The security tape was erased every six hours. If, you, if all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However... You bloodied your coat in your struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in the security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. If I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins doing at that time? What else? He was sleeping like a baby. So what you're saying is, on that day... But the blood at front of the scene, it certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you, blind? The victim was shown on the tape as me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole the evidence from the locker? Actually, no, I didn't. Why not? When I opened the locker, well, evidence was already gone. What? Mr. Edgeworth, where is that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. The tape of Goodman's locker was already empty? Someone else stole the evidence. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Far away, partner. It's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether or not to answer. Why did you do this? Stealing the text ID, injuring a police officer? This is no small offense. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. 
He can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a vital solution. Like I said, this isn't your case. This one's mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. The witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. I just can't forget it, the S online incident. You know why? But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. <clears throat> Joe Dark was convicted for his crimes. One thing I can say for sure is he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it turned out, but there's something that still bothers me. Something that went down that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to find out. Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe I should present him with what I think his real reason is. I had a feeling we might end up here sooner or later. Everyone involved here is related in some way to that case. I might have to take a look at the take another look at the files. You're gonna show the files with the Jake Marshall and um, Neil yes. Marshall. Yes. Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you got a bit. Sounds like you've been sipping a bit too much cactus juice, partner. I have the SL9 incident file here. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. In a list of murder victims. Neil Marshall. Are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Yeah. I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago? He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? A prosecutor? He must be talking about the King of Prosecutors award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And that case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? He was my brother. Oh, shit. He, he was investigating the murders with Damon Grant, Gant and uh, the then Deputy Chief of Police. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. He was assigned, ar arraigned, arraigned, and incarcerated. and incarcerated. The case finally closed, at least according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. And that's it? That's your reason for your insane actions? There is more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. That was the last day the SL9 case could be reopened. Not sat- oh sorry. Not satisfied with its resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. And my line. Sorry. <laughs> Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. <laughs> Officer Meekins confronted him, and he so he was he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. The things that happened by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance? It's gotta be more than just that. So if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Chief Prosecutor of Lana Sky. But, but wait! A verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial! 
Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But... There's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. Yet, there remained the mystery of the Saitamius murder of the police department. It seems to me the boy's got a draw on you, partner. All of the mysteries of the police department have been resolved. No doubt about it. Our sole murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. And the testimony of one Miss Angel Star is completely incontestable. If you have a read response, make it a single word or less. Ah! I rest my case. It seems this trial has reached its conclusion. There is no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time. Just proving the alleged murder at the police department. There is no doubt what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera tape really was fake. But, I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant... OBJECTION! What? Y your Honor, wait! Emma? The defense has an objection! A scientific objection! Right? What do you mean, right? Mr. Wright, are you this girl's guardian? Your Honor? Oh, uh, in a sense. Please, Your Honor, all I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please, hear me out. Mr. Edgeworth, please. I don't want to leave my loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. I... I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SO9 isn't referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it, and the names of both the names of both Sky Sisters were in that file. But that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day, so I knew his fingerprints had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing, the other handprint. You you mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? But no fingerprints were ever found on it, right? No, but I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So, I ran over there and looked at it again. So did you find something? Um, no. Huh? S sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. Um, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. And I'm just an attorney. But Mr. Wright, those traces of our blood are the only clue we have. We can't if we can't find something wrong with them. Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can say Lana, it's you. Me? Oh boy. Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um it appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Yes. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use, but still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana would be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. Yes, Your Honor. If ever I needed a concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with this handprint in Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? Well, this handprint left at the crime scene clearly shows a contradiction. The only thing that seems clear is that you're grasping, Mr. Wright. You've been staring pretty intently at those four plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? Yes. Something that, when drawn, will completely change the meaning of this blood mark. Let us pray the defense isn't simply trying to buy time. Kitty, why? The door's already cracked! 
It was already cracked for you. You didn't need to put it more. Why do you do this? Why? She meows in protest. Why? Why do you do this? <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's got to be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing in the floor plans? Is it the blue badger? It is. What? What? If the blue badger was in front of Gumshoe's locker, how did the handprint get there? I, I mean, I guess... I assume that Meekin probably was using the locker to hold himself as he stumbled his way out after being fucking stabbed. Yeah, but the blue badger would have been or whatever. the blue badger would have been in the way when his handprint got on that and said. Maybe I mean the blue badger. I can't. Im it's a cardboard cutout that moves slightly. <laughs> like it, it's not incredibly. It's like right in front of the locker though. But it's also not that tall. It stands like about here. The locker's like up here. But so if you, if you watch color. the videotape, if you watch the videotape, it was blocking the locker. I mean, yes, it's in front of the locker, but, well, whatever, 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 fine. <laughs> okay, so the blue badger prevents him from being able to, okay, so then whose handprint is it if it's not? Yeah, that's Mika's. exactly the, that's exactly the question, isn't it? All right. What about that, please, plywood? The blue badger, mascot of the police force, defender of truth, guardian of proof. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Please, look at the floor plans of the crime scene. The blue badger is not here. So? So watch what happens when you put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Well? Well? What? <laughs> That's right. So long as the blue badger is dancing here, it would be impossible to place a handprint at this spot on the locker. What? So that means, uh, just exactly what does that mean? It means that it can't be done. What are you saying? What traces were undeniably found on that locker? Don't look at me. I didn't put it there. Mr. Wright, think of through scientifically. Emma? On that afternoon, Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger into the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a hamper on that locker. So that means this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. Just one moment. I would not allow such far-fetched honor to in my courtroom. It may sound far-fetched, Your Honor, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department's evidence room, blood was spilled not once, but twice. But how? One time, it was captured on this tape, taken by a security camera. Officer Meekins cut his hand, from which a trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is, the other time. Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to have been. It had to have been. Detective Goodman, when he was, when he was really murdered, that's ridiculous. I refuse to accept your absurd claim. The murder portrayed in the security tape has been proven to be a fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark found on the locker. So then, assuming this murder you purport really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence that proves when it occurred. When did the first incident occur? To summarize, the defense claims that... Prior to Officer Meekins being caught by Jake Marshall, who was posing as Detective Goodman, another incident took place in that evidence room. That's right. The blood mark on the locker proves it. Very well. Then tell us. When did this first incident occur? As Mr. Edgeworth said, proof must be presented. Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence I can show that can show that. And we will show that in the next episode. Oh, alright. See you guys next time. Bye!